Boys basketball playoffs continue tonight with district semifinal action. We had a big one go down in West Ishpeming. The Westwood Patriot Patriots playing host to Ishpeming. Two rivals going head to head with a spot in their district final on the line. A packed house was on hand at Westwood High School for the district semifinal between the Hematites and the Patriots. We're going to pick this one up early first quarter. Patriots leading 5-3. to three. Caden Luma with a nice dish to Hayden Harris who lays it in to tie the game up at 5. Ishpeming continues to move the ball well on offense. A couple quick passes going to lead to an easy one for Luma. It's a 9 4 Hematites. Patriots now inbounding. Andrew Nimi going to get free for a wide open three that he buries. It's 11 8 Ishpeming. Still in the first quarter, Edward Anderson with the drive. He drops it off to Mason Heideko, who scores it. Patriots trailing by three. Parker Gothier then able to, to get to the rack here. He extends the Ishpeming lead to five. With the first quarter, first quarter winding down, Liam Luke will drill a triple to make this a one score game going into the second quarter. Then Ethan Marta begins to heat up for the Patriots. That jump shot will give Westwood the 1917 lead. Things staying close. Ben Rubick going to bury the three ball. It's 23-20 Westwood. Later in the second, Westwood begins to pull away. Marta connects again to put the Patriots up 11. And then Tristan Miller going to join in the three-point barrage. That three here going to put Westwood up 15. Third quarter with the Patriots now up 19 points. Nimi going to come up with the steal. And he's going to put the exclamation point on this one. The Westwood Patriots, they are moving on with a 65-39 victory. The Patriots will be taking on Jeffers for their district crown after the Jets took care of Calumet tonight, 64 to 15. Nagani and Escanaba met in Eski tonight in their district semifinal. The Miners won the only regular season matchup between the two teams earlier this season by 15 points. We're picking the game up late in the third quarter. Eskimos get a friendly deflection there and Ben Johnson will score it. Eski leads 36-31 after the third quarter. Fourth quarter, David Romps over to Javon Stevenson for two. It's 38-31 Eskimos. Stevenson finished the game with 13 points. And then Shane Wallen going to hit the three ball. It's 41-36 Eskimos. Wallen finished with 13 points. Later, Gavin Saunders starts to get hot. He's going to shoot and score it. We're tied at 42 with 234 left in the game. Then Saunders is going to go to his left. He'll pull up and shoot another one. Nothing but net. We're tied up at 44. With under a minute left to play, Romps going to attack the basket for Escanaba. He banks it in for the go-ahead basket. Escanaba leads by two with 23 seconds left. Then with four seconds remaining, Wallen will make a free throw, which makes it 51-48. Saunders is going to get the inbound and he's going to shoot one from half court, but it is no good. Escanaba with the upset over Nagani, 51 to 48. Escanaba to face the winner of tonight's district semifinal between Gladstone and Kingsford. Off the opening tip, doesn't take long for Kingsford to score the ball. Gavin Grandin down low to Jacob Markworth. It's 2-0 Flivers. Then Grandin with some great defensive pressure. The ball is loose. Jack Kriegel going to scoop it up, and he heads the other way. For the lay-in, it's 4-0 Kingsford. It's now 10-zip Flivers. Kriegel going to feed Markworth down low. He was a mismatch for the Braves in this one. He scores another. Flivers up a dozen. Then off a of Braves miss. Kingsford pushing the pace. Gavin Trevelyan up to Joey Weber for the lay-in. It is 16-0 Flivert still in the first quarter. Rondon with the drive. He's able to score it through contact. That's an and one. It is 19-0 Kingsford. Second quarter, 21-4 Flivers. Gladstone had four free throws. They finally get their first field goal here as Drake Johnson finds Nick Matthews. And then Luke Brackett will drain a three ball for the Braves, but this one was all Kingsford. They go on to win it 56-30. They're going to play Eski in their district final. More boys district semifinal scores from tonight. Iron Mountain top Manistique 55 to 30. The Mountaineers will play Menominee who defeated Gwynn 64 to 38. Ironwood over Ewan Trout Creek 36 to 28. The Red Devils will face Wakefield at Marinisco who beat Ontonagon 49 29. Chassel wins big over Lawn 78 to 38. The Panthers, they get Lakeland and Hubble in the district finals. They top Dollar Bay 64 to 43. Forest Park is moving on after defeating North Dickinson 66 to 50. The Trojans will take on Norway in the district finals after the Knights top Waters meet 84 to 24. North Central took down Hannibale 60 to 41. They're going to face Mid Penn and or Superior Central. We did not have a score to report for that one. Big Bay to knock top Rapid River 50 to 44. The Black Bears will take on the winner of Munising and Newberry. That game is happening tomorrow. 